What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, and we bring you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream over on Twitch every single day at this is After Sound is the username. So come by, we do giveaways every stream and we do giveaways every week here on the channel. All you gotta do to, do to enter is leave your in-game username in the comments and I'll pick up my favorite ones on the weekly Q&A videos and send you some DEC. So I, okay. I want to preface this video because I'm not trying to spread FUD. I just want to fully understand the long-term implications of the way that the system is set up. So I, I, this is actually more of an inquisitive video because I don't have answers for you guys. I actually have questions and I'm hoping that maybe the people in, uh, who are, you know, who regularly come through this channel will see this and understand it better than I can and help me out in the comment section or reach out to me and let me know, uh, just so that I can explain it better. Um, but I want to make sure that what I'm reading and I'm looking at the white papers for both DEC and SPS, I, I want to know if they, if what I'm looking at makes sense, right? Now, here's the thing. We all know that DEC is way, way above its peg right now. DEC should be issued at 1 million DEC per day when the peg is 1,000 DEC per dollar, right? So what does that mean? If DEC, in a perfect world, if DEC were at its actual peg, we'd have 1 million DEC times the 0 0.001 of its peg, right? That's the value of each individual DEC. That means that there would be $1,000 issued in rewards for ranked battle play every single day. That's not the case though. And this is why I say that we're living in a golden period right now. Right now, because we are, ab are above our peg, there's actually more DEC being issued. So let's say, I mean, last I checked, we were at, I think, uh, point, 1.2 cents per DEC, right? So what does that mean? We're 12X our peg, meaning that there are 12 million DEC tokens issued every day as rewards. And the value of those is times 0 0.012, meaning that there's actually $144,000 of rewards issued every single day. Am I understanding that right? Somebody please check my math. That looks right to me. And that makes sense, right? Because there are people walking away with dollars, right? And maybe tens of dollars uh, after a couple of wins. And you, you do that across the entire board, the entire player base. I can see that I can see that adding up. Now here's the thing. In the long run, right? We all know that DEC is inflated right now, like really really inflated. A, a big part of that is due towards the airdrop and we all wonder what's going to happen towards the end of the airdrop. So, once that happens, let's assume that DEC goes back to its peg, right? The the creators of the game have said that there is no intention to take DEC off its peg, and I respect that because we, they shouldn't be messing with the system unless it's broken, and it's not. But I have a question. That $1,000, right? That $1,000 that is issued out every single day, we're going we're gonna to go from $144,000 that's being issued out, right, in, in today's terms, to $1,000 a day, which means the rewards would dry up dramatically. And it's less money overall, less reward money overall for a larger number of players if this game continues to grow. So right now, you know, right now you have 144,000, you know, and again, this, it's not it's not a perfect system. It's not an equal distribution. But on average, between, let's say, a 500,000 player base is 29 cents per, per player that they're winning by playing this game every day. Right. Again, I know top top rankings get higher. Lower rankings get essentially, you know fractions of a penny but even if it were to stay at its peg right now or sorry even if it were to stay at 12 at x its peg right so the value of dec doesn't change what happens if we go from 500,000 players to 5 million well divide that by 10 now everybody player is getting a fraction of that just under three cents now what happens if we go back to our peg and only $1,000 is issued out every single day, but we also have 5 million players playing this game. People aren't making anything. So what's the solution for that? I don't know. And I, I'm, I'm just trying to bring 
I, I'm trying to bring my math to the table here, and I don't think my math is wrong, but I, I'm welcoming anybody to correct me on this, and I would, I would gladly post a follow-up video if I'm viewing this wrong or if there's a different strategy here, right? The one caveat that I see is that SPS is going to start being issued for ranked battle play, meaning that you will be able to win SPS. I don't know if that's in conjunction uh, or an as or type of thing for DEC, right? But here we go for ranked battle play. There's going to be 7.5 million uh, SPS that'll be offered up for ranked battle rewards. And I do believe that this will decline uh, uniformly across all rewards pools at a rate of 1% per month. Um, and so this is going to go on for 65 months. So about five and a half years from when this begins. Now, five and a half years is a long time. There's a lot of things that can happen in the world in five and a half years. There's a lot of things that can happen in the world in the next six months. My question is, once this ends and we go back to only DEC in the rewards pool and DEC is perfectly at its peg because there's no more airdrop, does that mean that you're going to have five plus million players or right, whatever the amount of players that are in this game fighting for a thousand dollars in rewards every single day? I don't know. There's something there's something either I'm looking at this completely wrong or there, there is, there's got to be something that needs to be changed in the future, right? Or SPS will start being recycled uh, as part of the ranked battle wins. Now, part of me, you know, um, part of me that was throwing out this this far out theory before was like, I, I wonder if DEC will ever actually be phased out. And if I'm right in how I'm understanding this. And there is this larger move towards SPS, which SPS can fluctuate in value, right? And it's it's a token that has quite a bit more utility to it, right? Because you'll be able to earn stuff in game. There's a governance factor to it. And then also, uh, it will potentially be used for a reward pool for ranked battles. Or it'll be part of the, the ranked battle rewards. I just wonder... If DEC eventually goes back to its peg and people are fighting over $1,000 a day, you know, I, that doesn't make sense to me. But I can see if SPS ranked battle rewards are something that continue, then that would be, that would make a little bit more sense. I don't know what the value of SPS will be at that time. Who knows? SPS could be at $30. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm throwing something like Moonlike out there. This is I, th not financial advice. I'm not saying that SPS is going to $30. I'm just saying that as the growth of the game, as, as the game grows and as more players come in and as more people are fighting to buy SPS because of the value that it provides within the game, the value of SPS might go up to a point where it being issued in ranked battles would still would, would make it still worthwhile to be playing this game. But I can't see that for DEC in the long run. So, so I don't know, guys. That's, that's all I have for you. This is more of a thought experiment about what happens after in month 66, right? Uh, because they haven't actually implemented ranked battle rewards for SPS yet. Uh, but, you know, whenever that, that does happen, and I know that's been talked about in the AMAs, this, I don't know, this is something that I'm actually thinking deeply about now because I'm just trying to figure out, going back to the DEC supply, how is this going to work? I don't know. Uh, if DEC is supposed to be at its peg, I just can't see that being worthwhile for players to play. Again, not FUD, because this is this is like one of those, uh, you know, <laughs> this is one of those like we can see something down the line. And I, I would bet money on the fact that the founders and creators of the game have probably thought through this. And I wonder, again, if this is maybe why SPS is starting to be used in many other ways. And if DEC will potentially cease to have utility in the future if it is going to be limited by the algorithm that runs it. So, so yeah, that's all. That's actually all I have for you guys today. I, 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 I try to give you a, uh, a preface at the beginning by saying that this is, this is not, <laughs> this is not a video that I would have the answers. I, I actually have questions, but hopefully the information that I provided uh, opens your eyes and makes you think about things in this way. And if, again, if I'm missing something, 
If I'm not understanding something, I want to be corrected. Please let me know. And I would, uh, I'm, I'm planning to, or we, we gladly make a follow-up video to this to, to write the wrongs that I have said, or to share the information to the questions that I have been asking. So that's all I have for you guys. Uh, hopefully this was at least entertaining or thought provoking in some ways. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I hope I didn't scare people away from the game because this game is awesome. So don't uh, don't take this as fud, please. I, I I genuinely mean that, guys. This is more so me just trying to understand everything that is happening behind the scenes, working in the gears of the game, and understanding how these different tokens are going to work and and be value, like what type of utility that they'll provide in the value. All right, I will catch you guys in the next video, and I will see you around the game. Have a good one.